Lifestyle and Communication of Ants Consider the following Qur'anic verse. And before Sulaiman were marshaled his hosts of jinn and men and birds, and they were all kept in order and ranks. At length, when they came to a lowly valley of ants, one of the ants said, O ye ants, get into your habitations, lest Sulaiman and his hosts crush you underfoot without knowing it. Al-Qur'an, chapter 27, verses 17 and 18. In the past, some people would have probably mocked the Qur'an, taking it to be a fairy tale book in which ants talk to each other and communicate sophisticated messages. In recent times, research has shown us several facts about the lifestyle of ants, which were not known earlier to mankind. Research has shown that the animals or insects whose lifestyle is closest in resemblance to the lifestyle of human beings are, in fact, the ants. This can be seen from the following findings regarding ants. A. The ants bury their dead in a manner similar to humans. B. They have a sophisticated system of division of labor, whereby they have managers, supervisors, foremen, workers, etc. C. Once in a while, they meet among themselves to have a chat. D. They have an advanced method of communication amongst themselves. E. They hold regular markets wherein they exchange goods. F. They store grains for long periods in winter, and if the grain begins to bud, they cut the roots, as if they understand that if they leave it to grow, it will rot. If the grains stored by them get wet due to rains, they take these grains out into the sunlight to dry. And once these grains are dry, they take them back inside as though they know that humidity will cause development of root systems and thereafter rotting of the grain. Everything made in pairs. And of everything we have created pairs. Al-Qur'an chapter 51 verse 49. This refers to things other than humans, animals, plants, and fruits. It may also be referring to a phenomenon like electricity in which the atoms consist of negatively and positively charged electrons and protons. Glory to Allah, who created and pairs all things that the earth produces, as well as their own humankind and other things of which they have no knowledge. Al-Qur'an chapter 36 verse 36 The Qur'an here states that everything is created in pairs, including things that the humans do not know at the present and may discover later. Animals and birds live in communities. There is not an animal that lives on the earth, nor a being that flies on its wings, but forms part of communities like you. Al-Qur'an, chapter 6, verse 38. Research has shown that animals and birds live in communities, i.e. they organize and live and work together.